Welcome to week number five for Liz. My name is Jody Bunting and this is our free six-week course where our slimmers are going to lose a stone in the next six weeks. Morning, Liz. Morning. How are you doing? Oh, better-ish. <laughs> What's been happening? What's been going on? Um, I had a lovely ear infection which put me on 10 days of antibiotics. Oh, no. Yes, that was um, not fun. Ended up in A&E, which was lovely. Oh, dear. So how are you feeling now? You're 100%? I uh, still can't hear very brilliantly, but it's better. Okay. Right, just let me know if you need me to repeat anything. Oh, no, got the earphone in the Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Right. Have you been on the scales? Yes. And according to said scales, so far I've lost, it's very annoying, 13.2 pounds. 13.2? Yeah, because it worked out in kilograms and apparently when you convert it. Ah, okay. That's so, what it came to. So this is your total weight loss, 13? Yeah. Great, because you lost seven in the first week. And last week you lost some. Yeah. I can't remember. I didn't weigh last week because I didn't go on the scales because I wasn't at work. Oh, yeah. So in total, you've lost 13.2. It's very <laughs> annoying. <laughs> but that means we're just one pound away from losing a stone. 0.8 of a pound. 0.8. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing, Liz. That's so great. And what have you been doing to, to get this great success? I think it's less carbs. Definitely, because I've had no bread, really. I've had sandwich thins, but other than that, no bread. Yeah. Um, Walking quite a bit. Quite a few miles covered there. And just eating better choices, I think. Fantastic. And how are you, apart from your ear, of course, how are you feeling? Uh, a lot better, actually. A lot less bloated, which is nice. A lot more energy. And not as hungry, which is strange. And for anybody who doesn't know, you do do night shifts as well. Yep. So just life in general is a bit more tricky for you, isn't it? <laughs> but at work, I've not even been having as much food at work, which is quite strange. And is it normally hard at work because other people are eating or because you're bored or what's the issue at work? I don't know. It used to be that I just took it as that was my dinner. So I'd have a meal. But now I just have an apple and a cup of soup and that's enough. Perfect. Great. So just getting into those routines, which again, are get less longer than the course, which is the, the great thing. So let's have a little look through your food diary. So obviously the, the meals and stuff are cut slightly out because of your night shifts and stuff. It might look not... a bit odd, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so far today you've had an apple. Is that right? Yep. Uh, yesterday, uh, an apple with miso soup. You did ask in our group about it. What did you think? Um, to be fair, it's quite nice. The blue dragon one comes with a little bag of um, seaweed and I think spring onion. And when you put it in, it like rehydrates itself. Yeah. So that was quite nice to have something else in it. Because I've, I've, I don't know whether you've heard of this. Uh, it's called Itsu. It's like a, a Japanese restaurant where they do. There's a big sign outside where it says miso soup, 99p when you buy anything. So I thought, oh, oh I'll try that. And to be honest with you, it was quite bland. You've got to have something with it. Like yeah. you said, with the seaweed and the spring onion, although you might not think this is kind of a nice additive, actually it gives it a nice flavour, doesn't it? A nice texture. Yeah, you need something in it a bit funny without but without miso soup is something like 17 calories it's super low in calories so i'm glad that you've discovered it <laughs> uh so also on your food diary uh, a couple of biscuits and a yogurt yesterday uh, but again it's all been calorie counted uh for lunch mushrooms and sandwich thins was that mushrooms on toast then no, just in the sandwich then. I couldn't be bothered to toast you to toast them. They go a bit no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never had a mushroom sandwich before. <laughs> they were fried mushrooms. Oh, they were fried. That's good. <laughs> Not just literally, no. Mushroom and a bit of bread. 
Uh, then in the evening, uh, some cod with sweet potatoes and mushy peas. Oh, yeah, that was out, wasn't it? Oh, that was, no, that was at home. Oh, that was home. Oh, it looked like it was out, by the way. So well done. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought you were having a meal out. Uh, Tuesday, uh, mushroom and sandwich thins again uh, with MacDo sauce deluxe. What's this? Oh, it's a um, lid or tomato ketchup. But it's their own, like a luxury one. Sounds nice. Is it a copy of McDonald's one or something? MacDo? No, I don't know why it says that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the barcode said when I scanned <laughs> it. And then a little bit of oil track there as well. That was obviously what you cook the mushrooms in. Uh, yeah. And then this is where the Blue Dragon Miso Soup is and an apple um, and some sausage pasta, which again was homemade. Monday was apple uh, shortbread round, peanut butter, sandwich thins and miso with three eggs. Uh, then in the evening is tuna with salad and salad cream. Have you had Raymond before, by the way? No, I have bought those charcoal noodles and the beetroot noodles to try, though. So basically, Not Raymond... Sure about charcoal noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Raymond is um, a twist on miso soup. So it's generally miso soup bottom with some noodles and like an egg and some meat or something like Ooh. that. So now you're getting into the miso uh, fashion. Uh, Raymond will be your new favourite because you get to add some Ooh. nice proteins and noodles to it as well. Might try it with the charcoal noodles then. Yeah, no, that'll be really nice. Uh, Sunday grapes, yogurt with mixed berries and chia seeds, uh, chunky Mediterranean vegetables with couscous and chicken. Oh, so you didn't have any treats on Mother's Day either, did you? That was the grapes oh. that my youngest bought me for breakfast. Oh, that's so sweet. Well done. Um, Saturday, chia seeds with yogurt, strawberry and berries. And then the evening, some pizza and chicken wings. Friday was some uh, just some raspberry yogurt. That's the only thing tracked. Oh, Friday was probably a bad day, which didn't get tracked completely. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> and then finally, the last day of this uh, current week is raspberries for breakfast, uh, Yeo Valley. So that'll be a raspberry yogurt. Oh, that's uh, me yogurt, yeah. Some fish fillets with salad and potatoes. And in the evening, uh, chicken thighs with salad and salad cream. So great. You really deserve the success. That's a great food diary. How have your steps been? Oh, gosh, lots. <laughs> Shall we check the uh, Fitbit charts to see how you're doing? <laughs> Yesterday's were not so good because I was in bed most of the day. What are you on yours? Oh, can I do that while I'm on here? You might be mm. able to... Uh... It might flick. Oh, no, I can do it. Yeah, have a little look. Ooh. Oh, where am I? Oh, apparently 76,000 last week. Oh, fantastic. That's good. 79,000 the week before and 81,000 the week before that. Perfect. So again, just making sure you're getting to that 70,000. So obviously, a, a which averages out at 10,000 steps a day is perfect. Right. So finally, Liz, what is your goal for next week? To lose the point eight. Oh, oh it's disappeared. Oh, no, there we are. You bet. To lose that point eight. <laughs> yes. So we're going to get to your one stone. You're going to be the first slimmer on the course to get that one stone. That's what I'm excited about, Liz. Fingers crossed. And there's two more weeks left of the course. What is your end of course goal? Oh, if I could do another half stone, I'd probably be happy. Yeah. Well, you're flying along, and if you keep on doing like you're doing, then you can do it. Hopefully. Fab. I need to get more walking. 
Bit more walking, bit more water. That always helps with everything. Oh, I've got the ginormous TikTok bottle, so oh, yeah, the water's going well. <laughs> what <laughs> a little larger daughter, than I thought. What does your daughter think of that huge bottle? Oh, she's tried to drink it, but she can't finish it, obviously. <laughs> Can she even lift it? Uh, near enough. <laughs> Great. Any other questions? Uh, can't think of any. Right. That's it from me. Thank you very much. Well done. And I'll see you next week. Bye. All right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>